Hey everyone, this is Gabby. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here with one of my girls. Today's video is actually about future farm plans that we have here. So I'm so excited to share these plans with you guys. Um, I guess one of the reasons that um, some of these plans are going to come to light is I've actually decided to uh, eventually start a little farm stand at my house. Um, we are actually in a very good location to be able to do that and I am just over the moon about it because hopefully we will get some business from people who are just passing by. Um, I plan to be able to sell produce like our tomatoes and watermelons and uh, all that stuff that we grow out in the garden. I also want to sell fresh cut flowers, um, chicks and ducklings when they are available. Another thing that we are wanting to do is get into bees. So I would love to sell little mason jars of raw honey. Um, and yeah, I am super excited. We're going to be starting in that maybe at the end of this year um, or sooner. We'll see. Um, I want to learn like all that I can about it right now so that I'm not, you know, completely a dumb dumb starting, but I have a lot of good resources around me to help me do that. I actually have someone in our family that is a very close friend that has had bees for a long time. That would be a really good resource. Hi, love. She is like, what are you doing? You guys are just watching me hold this chicken. I will take you out there and kind of show you what's going on. Um, we have more property. If you didn't know, that back field behind our house is ours. Um, it's another like six and a half acres back there, I think. But what I plan to do is basically, basically take the horse's fencing and move it all, take it basically all the way back. So I'll have two separate pastures. Um, and at the very end, I'm going to make another division because we actually plan to put Cooney Cooney pigs back in the back. And I'm very excited for that because I have been wanting Cooney Coonies for a very long time. They are just such a cool breed. They're so versatile. They can be pets. They can be meat pigs. And they're supposed to be like some of the nicest pigs. Pigs. Sorry, uh, Babel's back there slamming her food because she just wants some more, you know. Because she doesn't get fed enough already. But, um... Yeah, so I'm just super excited to bring some of them in. I already have a breeder lined up that I'm going to be getting some from, and I'm just so excited to be able to have them. And it works out that we have our property in like a big rectangle because I can kind of stick them near the back so that we don't have to uh, smell pigs. <laughs> so that's very, very exciting. And um, bees, Mabel, the bees will also be near the back as well with the Cooney Coonies. So let me take you guys out there and we'll kind of go over some plans. And um, hopefully you guys will find interest in this. I always love seeing my favorite farmer's plans. So hopefully you guys found this entertaining and um, we'll want to stick around and kind of see those plans come to light here soon. So let's go head out outside and I'll show you guys kind of what we're working with. So let's talk about some long-term goals that we have here on the farm. So as you can see, this fence line that we put up. I would like to take it all the way out, almost clear to the end there. So, if we're looking here, it would continue straight down. And what I would love to do is plant a whole bunch of like dahlias or just beautiful flowers that I could sell fresh cut and plant them all the way down the line. So it'd be just like a beautiful ledge of flowers along the fence line. I think it'd be so gorgeous. Um, this side will definitely be Evan's side. He'll be able to ride on his four-wheelers and whatnot and kind of have fun. But over here, this is all going to be pasture. So you're not going to be able to see very well, but basically clear back where I'm going to kind of take the pasture down to, I'm going to divide a section off and that's where I'm going to keep coon coon pigs or cooney cooney. Sorry, I always say that wrong. <laughs> but we're going to keep the little cooney cooney pigs back there and then this will also open up so that the horses can have everything up to there. Another thing that we're gonna be keeping back there is bees. I am super, super excited, but they will also go back there with the Cooney Coonies. So we are very excited for this piece of property. We are letting the uh, farmer who uh, rented this prior to us moving, he's gonna be planting soybeans out here um, this spring. He's already came out here and fertilized. Um, he is gonna leave us a um, path around the whole entire thing so that I can like ride sugar and whatnot there. But um, then in the fall, we're gonna be planting wheat and then we'll have the 
uh, following spring where we're gonna go ahead and spread the grass seed and the fertilizer for that and it will be all good to go. So this is our plans for here <laughs> and more of like a visual of what I just talked about so that you can kind of see like what I'm talking about. I would also love to plant some fruit trees back here and just have it be a, just a very beautiful place um, where I can, you know, do some more of my hobbies. I will definitely be getting a side-by-side -side or something like that or probably just using the four-wheeler until that happens so that I can ride from my barn clear down to the end of the field every day because Lord knows I am not going to walk that every single morning. But it'll be really nice to be able to come out here and cut those flowers and go, you know, just do some more fun stuff out there. So that summer coat is coming in so beautiful. She gets really golden. As it gets warmer outside, you can see where the white is shedding and the golden's coming through. And eventually, her color will all look like her face. <laughs> but she's still so beautiful, but I love her golden coat in the summer. I have to get Nina a, a fly mask and a fly sheet like Sugar has because I kind of got her in the dead of winter. <laughs> So there was no need, but she definitely does need one. So we're gonna order her one. Aren't we, Neen? Aren't we, Nina? My good girl. Hi, precious. <laughs> I know. Life's so hard for you, isn't it? So hard being a horse. Huge. Well, we hope you guys have liked this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like this video if you liked it. And don't forget to um, go ahead and give me a follow on Instagram so you can keep up on even more content. Me and Hank hope you have a wonderful day. We'll catch you guys next time. Bye.